If you have an idea for a level that will require some extra room, dynamic thermometer levels are the answer. A dynamic thermometer level allows you to stretch far beyond the usual space limitations. But there are some things to keep in mind to keep things running smoothly. Take a look now in your global stuff. You can change a level into a dynamic thermometer level from the gameplay controls page. Just tweak dynamic thermometer level to yes. Immediately, you'll notice that you have loads more space to build your level in. A dynamic thermometer level works by only loading certain parts of your level at a time. Every dynamic thermometer level has a loading zone, which is an invisible box that follows the players throughout the level. Once a piece of your level is in the loading zone, it will load in, and your players can see and interact with it. When a piece of the level isn't in the loading zone anymore, it will load out, removing it from the level until it's needed again. You can change the shape of the loading zone in the dynamic thermometer level tweaks. This will help ensure your level is loading in the right pieces at the right time. If your level is very wide, for example, a wide loading zone will load pieces to the left and the right of your players without worrying too much about what's above and below them. This will make your level run more smoothly. Similarly, you can also change the loading zone size. If your level is tightly packed full of complex workings, a smaller loading zone will make sure your level isn't trying to load too much at once. But if your level has a lot of wide open spaces, a larger loading zone will prevent players from getting to areas before they load in. It's important to realize that even if something is outside the loading zone, it will remain loaded in if it's attached to something inside the loading zone. Keep your dynamic thermometer levels organized into separate chunks to keep them running nicely. There are other tools to assist in keeping your dynamic thermometer levels working correctly too, but we'll get to those in other tutorials. <laughs>